Hey, um, I, I do want to ask you a question uh, at the start. The very first thing I want us to talk about tonight, um, and I don't, I don't think you mind me telling folks this. Look, you uh, back in 2011 when you began to prophesy about the president, um, I think it was, uh, you know, a lot of people not really laughed at you, but, you know, look, everybody's got their own personality about this. But one of the things that you said uh, at the beginning of uh, 2017, and maybe you can correct me on the date, but I know that along this journey that you've had, uh, one of the things that you, you told everyone that the Lord was telling you was that uh, President Barack Obama, the former president of this country, <clears throat> that he was going to be uh, basically running the country as a third term. And everybody mocked and laughed and said, well, you know, that's virtually impossible, Mark Taylor. You know, our Constitution, he can only run two times. And, um, and you know, the thing about the word of the Lord, Mark, when prophetic words are uttered, uh, you've said this often on our show, uh, people get certain pictures in their mind about how that's supposed to look. And right. many times those pictures are not the way that God is going to work out that prophetic word. And, and I'm, I've learned that. I've learned that just through my brief experience with this. And it doesn't mean the prophetic word is wrong. It just means that our uh, vision of that is wrong. We are the ones that get it off, not God. God's right, right on target with his word and his season. But what's happening over the last, I would even say in the month, in the last month or two, that prophetic word, Mark, has been absolutely confirmed and not just confirmed, but basically you got the entire news media ablaze with stories, and the mainstream media is not going to touch this with a 10-foot pole, but there are is ample evidence that that exact scenario that President Obama has run in a third term, a shadow government, and he started this the day that Trump got elected and put his hand on the Bible. He went right to his home there in Washington, D.C. Valerie Jarrett moved in with him. They have been running a counterintelligence coup against this president from day one, and it's right. beginning to surface to the top. And I want you to speak to that and the timing of it, and then we're going to read an article from Gateway Pundit that sort of confirms what you're saying. But tell everybody how the Lord spoke that to you and, and what you see happening right now. Well, it was uh, <laughs> back in uh, 2015 is when I think I actually prophesied that. I thought so, uh, yeah. he'd, be, he'd be running a uh, – while he was still in office, that he would run a third term, basically. And, um, you know, we have these – unrealistic expectations, Chris, you know, we rehearsed this movie in our head where we think that something's got to come to pass and, uh, or we, we rehearsed this movie and that's the way it's going to exactly happen. And that's not the way God works. And, and I can almost guarantee you it will be opposite of what we actually think because God's going to always be one step ahead of us. So, uh, or 10 steps ahead of us, whatever you want to say. But, uh, you know, when I said that, uh, in 2015, that he was going to be running a third, uh, a, a third term, even my expectations were wrong because I thought because it could have been possibly Hillary Clinton because everyone was saying, even the mainstream media was saying that this would be a Hillary Clinton win would be a Barack Obama third term. So a lot of people thought that. And so now we're seeing it come to pass where he's set up this, uh, his own little white house, if you will, two miles down from the white house. And he's got his own. No, he is actually running a shadow government now because they have been following him for a month. And this is what he was doing. He was, He's basically going around the world undermining the president, which it's another charge of treason as far as I'm concerned. Right. And, and when you know, he can go in where uh, uh, the Gateway Pundit was talking about. Uh, he's meeting with the former Italian Prime Minister Renzi, and they're holding secret meeting today. I believe that's today as we speak. Right. Uh, experts, uh, including Papadopoulos, suspect meeting linked to Spygate scandal. Now, uh, I'm sure they're probably trying to cover their tracks because panic's starting to set in because they're – uh, the cabal is is uh, screaming right now. They're they're running scared. Uh, the elite are running scared. The globalists, whatever you want to call them, and uh, all this stuff's crashing in on them right now, Chris. Uh, this president, um, you know, uh, God also said that this president would be ripped and stripped of the presidency. Um, there's only one way that I know of that you can do that, and that is to be charged with treason. In which case, you are stripped of the title of president, and he will be charged with treason. He will go to prison. Period. Mm -hmm. 